Mark, I wonder, as we sort of go around the tap dance again, if we're going to get a trade deal, if we won't get a trade deal, did the markets get ahead of ourselves a little bit? We were sort of pricing in the fact that we might get a deal, and now that it seems like we're a little bit skittish and we may not, uh, have we mispriced the risk? Um, I it's a good question. I think that's one of the reasons why bond yields have been falling. It's, be, it's because the, the, the trade negotiations have been leading to a slowing global economy. Clearly, the trade sanctions imposed last year had uh, real, did real damage to the Chinese economy, which in turn did damage to the German economy and the rest of the Eurozone and other um, trading nations. So I think that's sort of adding to the mood music of slowing growth and just, you know, lower yields, uh, lower inflation and, and probably higher equity prices. Well, and Mark, when we talk about higher equity prices, I wouldn't ask you where we actually are seeing start some of these trade headlines and the trade fears and the and the trade headwinds really start to hit corporate balance sheets. We heard from a few companies this week, FedEx, UBS, BMW, really start to highlight some pressure on margins, some of the pressures mm -hmm. from trade. Are we really now starting to see the impact of some of these headwinds on corporations? Well, I think it's a combination of that and also just where we are in the cycle. Earnings revisions have been pretty negative over the last, last nine months or so. Uh, we're still expecting a growth in corporate profits, but the growth will be moderate. And as you said, there are a number of uh, industries and companies where the trade sanctions are, are, are imposing real headwinds to their ability to grow their profits.